I want to show you a shortcut I've discovered for catching up on my Project Life album quickly. Basically, the shortcut is I use my computer for my photo selection. I start by making a new folder right on my desktop called Project Life Photos. Then I use a program called Adobe Bridge to view my pictures. I love this program, first of all because it's free, but second of all because it looks at your pictures where they are saved on your computer. You don't have to import or export from this program. It looks at them in the folders that already exist. But the benefit of this program is the speed. You can quickly flip through your pictures and, and preview them. You can also flag them as favorites if you want to include them in your Project Life album. So let me show you how I set up my Adobe Bridge screen. On the left I have my folders panel. In the middle, I have the preview panel. If that is not visible, you can right click and select preview panel. And at the bottom, I have the content panel. If that's not visible, again, you just right click and select content panel. I've closed all the other panels to kind of simplify this. One other thing is to come up to your preferences. We're gonna make one small change that will make this faster. Under the labels, you're gonna turn off require the command key to apply labels and ratings. So make sure that is unchecked. Now, all you do on the left here is navigate to wherever your photos are saved. And then they'll appear down here in the content screen where you can easily hit your left and right arrow keys to navigate through your pictures and get a nice big preview up here. If you see one you'd like to include in your Project Life album, all you do is hit the five key and that will give it five stars. So you can move left and right. Let's see, I wanna include the black and white version. I don't like that one. Oh, that's a good one, five maybe the black and white. So you just like that, you move side to side and flag the ones you want. After you've finished everything in the folder, you can come up here to the star icon and filter show five stars. That's gonna show you only the ones that you flagged. Then you can hit a keyboard shortcut, Command A to highlight all of them, hit Command C to copy them, and then find that folder over here on the left that you created on your desktop. So it should be under desktop, project like photos, and command V to paste them in there. Now we are making a copy of these photos so we know in the future it will be okay if we delete them because the originals still reside here in their original folder. These are just copies. Once you've included all the photos you want in your project life photos folder, you can come back to your desktop, open that folder, Again, hit Command A to select all, and we're gonna use AirDrop to send this to your iPad or your phone. So get out your device that you wanna send it to, unlock it, make sure it's active, and then when you right click, share, AirDrop. Your device should appear, and you select the device. Then it's gonna ask you on your device if you'd like to accept the photos. And now, they all exist on my phone. So I can go through the Project Life app on my phone, dump in all those pictures that I selected, and when I'm finished, I can delete them from my phone, and I can empty them from this folder here and move on to, let's say, the next month or the next year, wherever you're trying to catch up. So that's it. AirDrop, I've found to be the fastest way to catch up on my Project Life pages.